Good morning. I am N. Anish Kapoor, Assistant Professor from Marine Engineering Department, PSM College of Engineering and Technology. Today we are going to see about what are the bunkering procedures uh, to be carried out on the ship. What are the procedures we will be carrying out in the ship that we will be seeing elaborately today. The first one is, I will give introduction about the bunkering procedure. The word bunker is used extensively in defense services and is used to define an area to store and safeguard personnel and supplies. Uh, this is the main purpose for bunkering is to refuel the fuel, ammunition and food etc. And it is derived from the Scottish word bunk which means reserved seat or bench. So the bunker word is derived from the Scottish word bunk which means reserved seat or bench. In the shipping industry, the word bunker is used for fuel, lube oil which are stored on the ships and used for missionary operations only. Sometimes when we are bunkering the water, it will also come under the bunker only. The next, if a vessel is carrying marine fuel or lube oil to discharge it to another port, it will be called as not a bunker, it is not called as a bunker. If the vessel or truck is carrying it to transfer to another ship, for using on its machinery, it will be termed as only bunker. So, when the vessel which is not, which is carrying marine fuel of oil and lube oil to one port to another port, that is not defined as a bunker. When the vessel or truck carrying the oil to the ship, which is used for the machinery purpose in the same ship is called bunker. And this operation performed to transport the oil is known as bunkering. And this is the procedure for bunkering operation on a ship. Uh, this APL, this shows that uh, the vessel which reads for bunker and this is the bunker barge. The big vessel which shown in the figure is called as bunkering receiving ship and the small vessel shown in the figure is called as bunker supply ship or bunker barge. We can call this as a bunker barge also. Hence, bunker fuel or bunker oil on a vessel or marine fuel lube oil which are carried on separate storage tanks popularly known as bunker tanks for consumption in ships machinery. The bunker tanks in ships normally there will be about 16 to 30 bunker tanks depending upon the size of the ship. First, we will see the types of bunker fuel. Following are different types of bunkers which are supplied to a commercial or a passenger vessel. The first one is heavy fuel oil bunker, the second one is diesel oil bunker, the third one is lube oil bunker and the fourth one is cylinder oil bunker. The what are the ways we will receive the marine fuel bunker in the ship. The bunker fuel can be supplied to a cargo ship in different ways. There can be different types of bunkering facilities which the required marine fuel and lube oil to the ship. A small barge or ship carrying bunker fuel can be used to transfer marine fuel oil to the main vessels. If the quantity of oil is less, it can be supplied to the vessel using the trucks. We are transferring the oil in two ways. One is vessel, one is it is transferred through a small barge. The second way is it is transferred through a small trucks. Bunkering operation procedure. Now I will explain about the procedures which we are carrying out during the bunker. There are three stages for bunkering procedure. The one is preparation, the second one is perform and third one is wrap up. The preparation is nothing but preparing for the bunkering operation which will involve the readiness of bunkering equipment, storage tanks and bunkering safeties. Perform. This is the stage where we will perform the bunkering operations. Performing the bunkering operation in real time as per the pre-decided procedures and receiving the marine fuel according to the bunker plan. And the last one is wrap up. This is the completion of bunkering procedure. That means wrapping up the bunkering operation with utmost safety and ensuring the correct amount of quality of bunker fuel has been received on board from the bunker facilities. Either it may be through the bunker barge or the truck. This is the ship, the big vessel which is shown in the figure is used which will receive the bunker and the small vessel which is present near the big vessel is the bunker barge. The first one is pre-bunker preparation. Now I will explain about the 
what are the pre bunker preparations to be carried out before bunkering the most important aspect of bunkering operation is the checklist which forms a part of company safety management system and iso eliminating the possibility and negligence of human and other operational errors the pre bunkering checklist must be followed in consultation with the chief engineer as he is the person in charge for the bunkering operation before bunkering usually it is fourth engineering officer taking soundings of bunker tanks calculates the volume of fuel oil available in every fuel oil tank of the ship then the bunker plan is made to plan the distribution of total quantity of bunker fuel oil bunker plan is nothing but it is a excel sheet which we will uh, make a plan of each tank how much amount of oil to be bunkered that is nothing but a bunker plan is a in total number of tanks how many liters of oil we are going to take that is the bunker plan next we have to do a bunker procurement ordering of a bunker oil or knowing the fuel oil consumption for a day and next voyage plan the quantity of fuel oil required is calculated and compared with the available bunker tank capacity then a requisition will be placed through the chief engineer and master of the vessel to the managers who are present in the shipping company the requisition is also processed and evaluated from the quality and quantity of fuel to be supplied for the particular ship this will be approved by the managers in the uh, shipping office next we'll be seeing about what are the things present in the bunker checklist before we are starting the bunker procedure first uh, the in the checklist it will be states that the adjacent water should be noticed the second one is vessel properly secured to the dock check the supplier's product corresponding to order product agree quantity to be supplied check valves open day tank full and the supply valves closed warning signs in position that means uh, no smoking board safety boards everything should be kept in position sock up plant should be available clean up material should be in place oil boom in place foam fire extinguisher placed at bunker station because when the fire takes place the extinguisher is used for extinguishing the fire the alpha level purifier and transfer pumps should be switched off fuel tank supply valve should be open agri stop and start signal between vessel and the barge when we are using the barge we have to agree the stop and start signal between the vessel and barge when we are taking the bunker through truck we have to agree the stop and start signals between vessel and the truck agri pumping or transfer rate agri emergency shutdown procedure specification sheet should be received specification sheet is nothing but the fuel oil description should be present in the specification sheet sheet that means what is the amount of water present in the fuel what are the amount of uh, other materials present in the fuel everything will be present in the specification sheet check hose and coupling are secure and in good order fuel nozzle and hose should be secured to the vessel for extinguishing the fire next check the barge or truck meter reading with the help of fourth engineer check on board uh, meters reading next open the bunker valve open. then you unused manifold connection should be blanked off blanked off is nothing but it should be sealed off then master should be informed for the commencement of bunkering then signal pumping to commence the above checklist has to be completely filled religiously by both the ship and barge personnel all the these things should be checked with both the ship and the barge or the ship and the truck next we'll be seeing about the sop up equipments sop up is nothing but a ship board oil pollution emergency plan this is the plan mainly used for prevention of oil pollution uh, at the bunker manifold wherever necessary as per the sop up plan the sop up equipment should be kept in immediate readiness in order to avoid oil spill or pollution during the bunkering operation the sop up locker is mainly present in the weather deck near the accommodation the sop up locker will maximum it will be present near the sop bunker station the sop up locker must have minimum of the following specified items this items is used for uh, preventing or to avoid the oil spill or pollution 
or these things can be used in case of any oil pollution is there with the sopper blocker things we can clear the uh, spill very immediately and we can reduce the minimize of pollution in the sea. Now what are the things present inside the sopper blocker we can see the first one is absorbent roll, the second one is absorbent pads, the third one is absorbent materials, brooms, shovel, mops, scoops, empty receptacles, portable air driven pumps, oil boom, oil spill dispersants. These items must be stored in easily accessible locker that is called a sopper blocker and it should be clearly marked and it, it is to be brought on deck ready for immediate use prior to all oil transfer operations. In this sopper blocker we have seen a pump called builder pump. This portable air driven pump is called as a builder pump which mainly operates through the air. The portable air driven pump is also called as builder pump which is mainly operated by the air for transferring the spilled oil to the drums. Next, what are the uh, procedures to be carried out during the bunker? Uh, when we after commencement of bunker witness taking and sealing of two representative product samples for uh, entire bunkering procedure we have to take samples monitor fuel connections for leaks fuel flow and control tank levels change over of tanks whenever necessary checking the rate at which bunkers are received checking the tightness or slackness of mooring ropes checking trim or list of the bunkering bars and the ship. Then you have to continuously monitor and look out for the vessel position when it is present in the anchor. Next, during bunkering, the above checklist must be filled up and continuous monitoring of the above specified items are required till the bunkering operation is complete. So we have completed two stages. The one is pre-bunkering stage and second one is during bunkering. The last one is after bunkering procedure. When this procedure comes is the full, when we are completing the full bunkering operations, this stage will come that is called after bunkering procedure. On completion of the bunkering operation with the ship barge coordination, the line should be blown with air to make sure the line is not filled with oil. The after bunker checklist is followed. First, we have to close the bunker wall. First, we have to close the bunker wall. The second one is disconnect the hose. While disconnecting the hose, you have to drain the oil before disconnecting. Then you have to check the barge and track meter reading. When the reading is completed in the barge, then we have to check the ship's meter reading. Next, we will sign the bunker delivery note. That is nothing but it is a report which should be maintained for the ship for the next three years. In the bunker, de bunker delivery note, what are the details will be present are? The one will be the name of the vessel. The next one will be the name which the barge we are receiving the oil and the amount of quantity and the date of receipt. Everything will be present in the bunker delivery receipt or bunker delivery note. This bunker delivery note should be retained for the vessel for the three years for record. Retain bunker delivery receipt with product sample. We have taken four samples. One will be used for ship and the another one will be given to the barge and the third one will be given to the labs and fourth one will be given to the marcold sample. In the why we are providing the sample to lab is to find the specification provided by the barge is correct with the actual oil received in the ship. The third one is sopper plan written to the bridge, clean up gear stored and oil boom should be returned, remove and pack away warning and safety sense which for example the safety sense watch we are kept in the bunker station that is no smoking everything, foam fire extinguisher placed back in correct location, complete oil record book. Then oil record book is nothing but uh, rec oil record book is present in the mark hold which should be written for next 3 years and all the oil we, what we have received should be entered in the oil record book. Master informed of completion and confirmation in oil record book bunker checklist is completed. So these are the procedures to be carried out in the 
in the ship for a bunker procedure these are the things to be carried out for a entire bunkering procedures and this is the short summary of a bunkering procedures i will explain the one is the bunker bar should be moored and the bunker ship bar is securely moored to the ship and the means of access is rigged communication should be established and all the safety signs should be discussed with the ship and the bar establish communication with the bunker ship bar and fix emergency signals check frequent soundings and uh, check for the connection check no smoking signs should be placed all the sop up material should be kept in place line and tank port should be properly closed check the sounding in the supplies tank and line the ship tank walls to receive the bunker oil this is these are the procedures to be carried out in pre bunkering stage the next one is during bunkering checklist is nothing but the commencement of bunker when the commencement of bunker initially start the bunker with the minimum pressure and gradually increase the pressure so you have to maintain the filling rate rate and the sample should be taken from starting of bunker to the end of the bunker which is used for samples mark hole everything will use that samples maintain low pumping rate during start and check for oil going to selected tanks only then collect the oil sample and check regular sounding through the operation collect the drip sample we have to take drip sample and you have to take frequent sounding then cautiously change over tanks by correctly operating line walls when one tank is getting filled we have to change over the next tank very carefully notify bunker facility to reduce the pumping rate during final tank filling during the final tank filling you have to reduce the pressure also then reduce the pumping rate before doing air blow from draining the bunker hose close all the sounding pipe lids because it may lead to the uh, leakage of oil and spill and it will lead to the oil pollution shut the bunker manifold valve once the barge confirms end of the operation these are the things to be carried out during the bunker checklist in the last one is after bunker checklist it is that calculate received quantity that is how much amount of quantity of oil is received in the a uh, ship that we have to calculate then calculate the total quality of bunker received on board as per the bunker delivery note bunker delivery note is nothing but it is a receipt which consists of some details which is called as uh, one is it will have a name of the vessel it will have name of the barge the quantity of fuel oil received and uh, what is the date we have received everything will be present in the bunker delivery note and this bucket delivery note should be retained in ship for the next 3 years then unplug scupper cautiously change over tanks by correctly operating line walls and then remove the unplug tray clean the bunker station of oil and remove sop up equipments and these are the sample bottles which we will collect oil send and retain bunker samples then clean the bunker station send the fuel oil sample to shore lab for testing and retain ship and mark hold bottles on board then the chief engineer has to enter the bunker quantity details in the orb orb is nothing but the oil record book and relevant log books these are the things to be carried out during the bunker in bunker the main thing is that we have to take sounding sounding is nothing but it is the amount of oil present inside the tank that is the measurement what we are going to take that is called as sounding the procedure for taking sounding is nothing but in ship we will have a sounding tape that is used for take the sounding in uh, when we are using the tape uh, for example there is a number one port number two port number three port everything will be there uh, for example i am telling that for number one port say tank we are going to take sounding first we have to open the lid of the sounding pipe the sounding pipe is nothing but it is present from the tank top to the bottom of the tank sounding pipe is nothing but it is a pipe present in the tank top to the uh, vessel uh, tank top to the vessel bottom it is a pipe where a striking plate is present at the bottom of the tank 
where sounding tape is nothing but it is a tape which has a knob in the end and it will have a reading of meter and centimeter every all the readings will be present in the sounding tape before taking the sounding you have to clean the sounding tape neatly and you have to insert the sounding tape inside the sounding pipe when you are inserting the sounding pipe inside the sounding tape then the striking plate will go and strike with the sounding tape next what will happen is you have to check all the uh, level of oil in the sounding tape for example if the uh, tank length is total 400 cm and your sounding tape has dipped up to 150 cm for 150 cm oil has been dipped and remaining length is empty then you have to mark the uh, sounding reading as 150 cm after that you have to go for a sounding book which is present in the bridge or it will be present in the engine control room that time you have to check with number one coach side tank 150 cm and it will be matching with the sounding record book in that record book for example if it is 150 cm it is showing that 450 meter cube so in 150 cm the tank oil present in that tank will be shown in the sounding book that book will show you can make it final reading that is it for example 150 meter cube or 250 meter cube depending upon the size of the tank so these are the things to be carried out while bunkering and the sounding is nothing but how much amount of oil present inside the tank can be measured using the sounding tape this is the thing we have to know about the bunker and what are the bunkering checklist before bunkering during bunkering and after bunkering so thank you